What a blessing it has been, folks. You are now viewing the Atlas Stationers live video. This is like the fourth or fifth time we've been live this week. So we are out here blessing y'all with some great content. My name is Brendan. We got Brian behind the camera. Some orders to pull here in a whole assortment of new releases around this time of year. I mean, I don't actually remember there being this many new releases last year, but it seems like they're all funneling in right now. So we're gonna showcase some new products that we just got in and some new products that we will be adding to our assortment. So as always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, throw them in the chat. Otherwise, sit back, relax, and let's jump right into it. Yeah, and I wanna make sure, uh, you know, we welcome everyone that's making it onto the live. Please share like, the live share, video. Follow, like subscribe, it. subscribe. Yeah, try to push this out. I know we're still having issues with TikTok, not uh, in letting everyone know when we're actually live. So we wanna make sure we get the word out. Yep, yep, yep. So keep in mind, um, you know, we did just launch Sailor yesterday. Everything is live up and running. We might show the displays and the inks very briefly, but if you didn't catch our video that we posted last night on YouTube, go check it out. We did a grand launch and whatnot. All right, Brian, if you're ready, I am ready. Yeah, let's do it. All right, this one is going to be for Janelle M, order number 124995, a mystery box and a paint by stickers, which is a cool little book that we uh, will grab first, actually, yeah, before that we be do great the box. To see, I don't know if we pulled one of those live before, a new product here at Atlas. We have and, not. Uh, let's welcome in the chat. We've got Daniel here. We've got Kelsey. I saw Wava join. Uh, for everyone else I missed, thank you for uh, tuning in. Happy Friday to everyone. And here is that paint by sticker book. So how it works is uh, just like the paint by numbers, but essentially each little section of the drawing is, uh, or the template is numbered and coded. And then what you do is you find the correct stickers. I don't know if they're at the front or the back. Let's see where they're at. I think they're in the back. See, so it'll be like, okay, this one is for the poodle, right? And then you actually line up the correct sticker code and you actually put it on the template itself to create the painting. Really fun design, really fun idea. We have a whole bunch of different options here, including uh, you know the musicians, um, a bunch of different animals, sea creatures, cats, dogs, um, just to give you a, a more unique way to kind of, uh, I guess, color, if you will, without actually coloring. So super fun right there. And yeah, then, and we got some uh, good response already from a couple of the uh, members in the chat here about uh, the saying book? that I love those things. Tweezers yep. are helpful. My daughter has three and loves them. Super fun. Yeah. First time we've shown them on the live. So check it out on our website. And for those of you who are just joining and are new to our channel, um, we are a fine writing and stationery shop here in downtown Chicago. Um, our great grandfather founded the company in 1939. So we're shooting for 84 plus years in business. Pretty exciting. We've got about a 4,000 square foot retail space that we uh, currently operate in and then a warehouse and office in the back, which sometimes you see while pulling orders. Brian, this is a fun one right here. This is the mystery box. And normally we rely on the chat. Um, we've got over... For at least one of these. Yeah. But, uh, I want to see, I, this time, I kind of want to see a full Brendan, full Hollywood pull. This is going to sound too much so pressure. crazy because I think my picks are sometimes better than the chats, but sometimes I let it go. Uh, all right, Janelle said, I would like to have my order picked on TikTok. I don't have an ink preference. I just like the idea of true mystery. So I'm going to go ahead and pull four inks. Brian, why don't you explain the mystery box idea as I'm kind of making my selections? Yeah. So a couple months ago, uh, we opened up our mystery boxes. So what we do is uh, there's an item on our website. You can either get three or four of them for a set flat rate price. Uh, and Brendan will go and, or some, another member of our team will go and pull inks for you. Uh, he decides exactly what colors he wants, which brands he wants. It ends up being a great deal. You usually end up getting about a 20% discount or a free bottle of ink, mm -hmm. uh, depending on which one you go with. And Tanya is not happy with that comment, Brendan. How I dare you? I knew I'd you? stir the pot. Yes. I Good knew I'd stir the, the pot. Live here. I will say you do have to do one. You've got to throw a sailor in this. I think that'd be our Let's first. Do it. I think that'd be our first sailor in a mystery box since it's such a new product here. This box is crazy. Actually, no, no. Let me get a different shade. Let me get a different shade. 
Yeah, Kelsey's right on. Brendan's right. We can never compete with his wisdom. Yep. Not, Smart. No sarcasm to that uh, to that comment at all. All right, so here's what we've got. We've got the Hana Gokoro from Sailor, the Ink of the Year Rose Quartz, the Serendipity Shimmer and Sheen from the Diamine Ink Bank Calendar, and the Lee D. D. No yeah. idea if that's how you pronounce it, but the coffee one from Jacques Urban. We've got inks from all across the world, the UK, France, Germany, and Japan. This is what the mystery box is all about. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Oof. Yeah, what does everyone think about uh, it's that a good box? One. They know. They know it's a good one. They're going to say, nah, not that good, but they know. They're just trying to mess with me. And then also we do throw in a small gift for being picked on TikTok. We've got the Andorillion Vampire Squid Red. And then, of course, we've got the handwritten note by Mama T. This is the Barbie-themed card. This one's super – this is a limited card. We only did – well, she only did an X amount, and I think we're already almost gone. They're already almost gone. Ken's not that cool. or Ken's not cool. This pen is. No pen on this order, but you get the, the gist of it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so we're getting a lot of uh, fire in that uh, on that box. Tanya, uh, I could fire. do better. All right. Well, order a box and request all the ones you want, and we'll have a little competition. Yeah, we got Skunk Girly. I need to order a mystery box. Yes, please do. Super a reminder fun. for everyone that's live here. Uh, any order you place on atlasstationers.com, if you leave a note asking us to pull your order live, uh, we do our best to, to do that. Accommodate, yep. Yeah, so make sure you leave a comment if you want to see your order pulled live. Uh, on TikTok, we usually go live two days a week, sometimes three. And if uh, you miss the live, we do repost these to YouTube, uh, usually within 24 hours of the live. Yeah, we do maybe two to three YouTube videos a week, you guys. So make sure you check it out. The channel's relatively new in a sense that we've just been building it out recently. So please go over there, you know, watch the replays. The giveaways are always over there if we choose to do them as well. All right, this is the only other one we've got for today. Min T, order number 125173 for Twisby Vac. Iris, fun note here, please pull this on TikTok. I know Twisby seals their cases, so you do have my permission to open the case to show the pen. I should be logged on to, into TikTok as Minfesto if you want live confirmation. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that's a cool, that's we've a cool got them account. here in the live right now. I like the, uh, the, the name play or the word play off your name. Um, so additionally, uh, Min, is that how you pronounce your name, Min? Let me know if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Uh, but Min was the winner of the High Tide Stationery Pouch from our previous giveaway. So we're going to go ahead and throw that in with this order. And we'll walk out into the shop and uh, show you what they've won. Let's find the Vax here. All right, we got the Vax Iris. We need the extra fine. And I appreciate your willingness to let us open this. But we actually have our entire Twisby assortment. Um, already on display, so we'll just show you what it looks like so we can keep yours sealed. Yeah, let's go show the Twisbees first and then we'll grab the prize. All right, they said men would be men would be close enough. Men? Yeah. Men, perfect. All right, here is all of the Twisbees. I'm going to grab the keys real quickly to show you exactly which one men is getting. Yeah, and Weva commented earlier, she feels bad. Why? Leaving comments to pull live because we give so much free stuff. So that's why she's not leaving comments anymore to pull them live. Oh, well, just so you know, when we first started doing this, we had, you know, just some leftover promotional stuff, right? And we were kind of giving out some of our own inventory. But since this gotten so big, we've been working with the vendors to supply a lot of great TikTok gifts and prizes. So always leave the note. It's never a problem. It's uh, our way of giving back to you guys for showing all the support. Um, this is the Twisby VAC 700R with the uh, rainbow or iridescent appointments. It's a super sick pen. And then uh, it is the vacuum filler, so you unthread that, push that back out, and then you plunge downwards into the ink. You're creating a vacuum. Once it clicks in, you're breaking the vacuum. Pressure will fill upwards. Voila, you've got your pen filled with some awesome ink. Yeah, and for anyone that's not familiar with that filling system, Brendan has hundreds and hundreds of we got a lot of videos showing the filling system in action. Uh, we have a couple different vacuum filling pens, the, the Twisby vac there, the Niter Twin Tank Touchdown, Pilot has one. The Pilots, yep. Yep. So, yeah, there's a whole lot of them. Uh, yeah, it's probably the most recent video that uh, has been posted. You'll be able to see exactly how that, that system works. 
Yeah, yeah. One of my favorite uh, types of content to record. It's super satisfying. Yep. And Brennan, we've got penultimate Dave here. It says Rocket Hollywood. It says what? Rocket Hollywood. Rocket Hollywood. What yeah. does that mean? I don't know. He's telling you to rocket. I don't know what that means. Are you saying that I'm rocking? You like my fit? You like my style? Um, I think this just every your entire personality, maybe. I don't know. Thank you. That means a lot. <laughs> I think this is what we gave away, high tide stationary pouch. So maybe if men wants to pick a color, uh, we got clear, pink, yellow, uh, mint, kind of like a teal blue, and then a black. So here's what it looks like. So feel free to pick whichever one you want, and we'll make sure to throw it in here. Congratulations again. This is just proof that the, the winners do win the items we give away. I want no skepticism about any of that. Just joking. We're very honest, folks. We don't need to prove anything. But yeah, whichever one you want, you let me know which color. 10 seconds on the clock. Yeah, I can. you're not giving out 10 of them this time if there's no answer. Oh, yeah, I'm not giving out 10. <laughs> We're sticking to one. This, is a, this black, is a good prize. This, this is a time. good prize. All right, we got that right there. Let's go ahead. Yeah, and actually, while we're here, can we just pan over here? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we uh, just got a restock in of our Delphonics carrying cases. Some of them that uh, we've been on back order since we brought in the brand a couple months ago. But uh, if you've been looking for one of these, we just got stocked up on them. And uh, it takes a few months to get them. So if you want one, make sure you grab it. Yeah, this whole area has gotten really cool. Full of awesome uh, accessories and pouches, storage cases. It's really fun. It's always exciting to kind of see those unique items that you don't find really elsewhere. So fun spot in the shop. All right, let's come back over here. Uh, men, you are getting the Cuttlefish Brown and Derillium ink, and then love this pen, Barbie. You're getting a Barbie card too. That's gonna do it. Thank you so much for the love. We appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, you got someone asking, uh, you got Happy Holidays inks. Uh, yeah, we've got a whole series, I would say, of holiday ink. Take a look at the uh, Diamine ink vet. Yeah, you stay, oh yeah, you go, you go. Right. We have a whole series of inks geared towards the holidays. If you look on our website under bottled ink, anything that says ink vent would be what you're wanting to look for. And speaking of that, we do have the 2023 edition ink vent calendar, which gives you 25 different colors of brand new ink mm -hmm. available for pre-order. Live on the website out, right uh, now. Later this fall. All right, so those were the two orders we had for the queue. Um, for anyone that places an order now um, throughout the weekend, the next order pulling video will most likely be on Monday around 10 a.m. Central Time. So if you submit the order online through our website, leave a note asking to be pulled on TikTok. Yeah, and I'm loving this comment from uh, men. I am Knuff. I am Knuff? Yeah, Ken from Barbie. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I can't see the spelling or anything. So, you know, when you read some of these comments, I have no idea what they mean or if they're punny or anything. All right, so that was the two orders for today. Now we've got quite a few items that we wanted to showcase. We're going to start with two items that are not on our website, but we're hoping to get them up at some point today. Um, first one is going to be the newest Lamy Swift, the neon orange. This is a capless rollerball, one of our most sold Lamy pens. There's no refill in it right now, but when you push down and you extend the tip, the clip protrudes inwards because then you cannot clip the pen while the tip is out, preventing you from uh, not having any, I guess, accidents of the pen being in a pocket and ink kind of rolling outwards into your clothes. Um, this one is super difficult pen to lose. So uh, yeah, if you have an issue losing your stuff, I'd probably recommend this one. I think the going price is about $55. So look for that to be added. Again, capless rollerball, which we really enjoy. What do you guys think of the color? We don't really have too many neon uh, pens in the shop. It's kind of unique and definitely a, a very, very distinct colorway. And then next up, one of my favorite brands in the shop, Cora Crea Crafts. We have the newest box available. Uh, well, this afternoon it'll be available. The English Countryside. This was her July box from this year. Um, if you don't know, Coralie has a wide assortment of products. Oh man, the pressure live. We're going to have to display this one. Yeah, see, there's no way you're getting that off. Patience, patience. As long as it doesn't look too bad. 
Not too bad, not too bad. Just a small hole. It's all right. I think we actually have one that we can sample. Um, so basically, she offers a wide variety of different stickers, uh, paper, stamps, notebooks, um, and a lot of them have certain themes. And then so um, we actually have these themed box here that you can get. Um, some of the older ones that we do have here are the bees and insects. We also have the steampunk and then the pirates and just super fun. Um, Brian, if you want to kind of flip around and show the display we have over items. It's all essentially revolved around the theme of creative journaling. Uh, this also includes items such as um, unique and more aesthetically, I guess, fun scissors, uh, washi tape. You know, so essentially this is just a super fun category of products that we recently got into about three months ago. Yeah, and you've got some other starter boxes available too. So Yeah, the journaler look. kit is awesome. Yep, take a look on our website, atlasstationers.com, uh, Cora Crea Crafts should have everything listed and we'll have this new addition up uh, yeah we'll try to get it today. today or early next week yeah this one's super fun all right i'm gonna put this one right down here all right now we've got some items here that are currently available this was all the new releases of this past week uh, the first one we will start off with is the estabrook sd in rainforest um, this was a release that happened uh, a few months ago, and now it's officially opened up to um, the, the U.S. retailers. This is very limited at the moment. I think there's only about 200 pieces left. Uh, it's a nice kind of mustardy yellow with uh, a green geometric design. Uh, does come in oversized, I believe, regular size, which is this one right here. And then additionally, a whole assortment of nibs, including the new Techo nib, which we've never had in the shop, the journaler nib the scribe nib, and then your basics, you know, extra fine through stub. So standard international cartridge converter, um, resin-based model. This one has gold hardware. Super sick pen. Really like the colorway of it. Yeah, Tanya asking how many we have uh, in the journaler nib. You know, off the top of my head, I don't know. Uh, maybe I, a couple. Yeah, no so idea. the specialty nibs, we usually only get a couple because they take a while for, for these to get ground down. Uh, so we're only able to, to grab a few on each release. Yeah, they have uh, to send the nibs to a nibsmith. So the journaler nibs done by Gina Salarino. So they have to send their nibs to her in California. She's got to complete the grind on each individual nib, test them, and then send them back. So there's usually never as many specialty nibs due to the uh, labor and time it takes to get them. Yep. So uh, where are we going next? Uh, let's, Middle, show, let's show oh, the... In the box. Yeah, this let's is today's release. Yeah, this one just came out today for those of you who are not familiar, the newest Twisby Diamond 580 AL has officially launched. Um, this one is called what, the Sunshine Yellow or Sunset something? Sunset Yellow, I think. Sunset Yellow. Yeah, so it's gonna be in their uh, like nickel Diamond 580, which features kind of like the ribbed grip section and the uh, reinforced aluminum. Yeah, we've got Kelly here. I just ordered that Twisby. It looks awesome. This is my first time seeing it in person. We haven't opened one yet. Yeah, so anybody that pre-ordered them over the last couple of days should be getting shipped out today, or if you buy one today, should be on the way as well. Yeah, nice finish. Super, super crisp. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, going back to that SD, Tanya, I want to get one, but I said I was waiting for the sale. I'm tormented. And uh, Kelsey trying to, to help out. Well, Brian, Mr. VP, just should just do a sale right now then so she can get it so we'll see uh you can check our inventory tanya and see what's available here shoot us a message uh through the website esterbrook will be here for the sidewalk sale yes so you can and meet the man the, behind the, him the carrie one thing with the brand. esterbrook too is when he comes he does usually have spare nibs uh maybe things that we're out of stock on especially in those specialty nibs let me get this back in correctly yeah, and I'm heading to the San Fran show, which I think is coming up, right? Uh, I right. might try to get a booking with Gina to grind a nib. Yeah, she'll be there. Um, I believe Gina's actually from that area. So, yeah, Gina's awesome. Okay, uh, next up, let's show off Brian's new favorite pen, the Primary Manipulation Memento. I think it's the 2.0. Um, this is a Jonathan Brooks collaboration. There's two different uh, finishes. I guess it's the same... Uh, resin, the same, I guess, uh, blank, but just two different methods of how to finalize the 
actual overall look. This is the glossy resin. So this one, they essentially add a layer of gloss to um, spruce it up. And then this one is the matte finish, which is more of a raw look and feel. Um, the matte is super fire for sure. Yeah, it's the first time we've seen a matte in the store. I think they've done them before, maybe on some exclusives, but uh, I'm blown away with the matte. Love, love the look of it. Yeah, I think the matte is really fun. Um, anyone who asked me which one they should get, I pointed them towards the matte. I just had a gut feeling that it'd be a, a really fun finish and super unique. Um, it's not necessarily, it's like textured, right? You can feel it a lot more. It's not as like smooth as the, the glossy finish. Um, but yeah, you'll just be able to tell that it just looks like two completely different pens, even though it's the same blank involved. So um, these ones, I think, did, did they only do them in the silver trim? Yes, silver trim. Um, we all have uh, steel nibs on both models. And so I don't know, I, we did have these up for pre-order. I don't know what nib sizes we have left in each finish, uh, but we did bring in the entire range. So extra fine up through flex fine. Yeah. So these are really fun. Great yeah. price points as well. And we're getting some good comments there. Uh, those pens are fire. Yeah, Rosely, I, I need that Leonardo. We've also got some a suggestion for the sidewalk sale that we need a nib grinder here. It's a good idea. Which I think actually we, we thought about it and we were trying to find somebody. Uh, the sidewalk sale this year is wedged right in between the DC, DC Pen Show and San Fran. And so yeah. the couple grinders that we talked to, uh, they wanted to have a week off uh, in between. So they're not flying all over it's the country. It's a lot of traveling. So, but we'll mm -hmm. see, maybe there's something we can work out or maybe for next year. Yeah, you know, the sidewalk still keeps getting bigger and bigger. And so uh, I think that's more incentive, you know, as reassurance that these individuals would be booked the entire weekend, which I'd have full confidence that any nib grinder here would be. Uh, It'd be insane. Uh, well, because they'd have appointments every Tanya 10 just minutes. Said she would bring all of her pens. Well, so there you go. Yeah, That'd be a so. whole day's worth of work right there. So uh, we did have a request. Can we put the Leonardo up against the Twisby? Yep. See the size difference. Noticeably larger. Similar length, but uh, noticeably larger diameter. Cool. All and then, right. Uh, the last two items we have are from one of our favorite brands, Peniter. Um, we'll actually be fortunate enough, I believe, to see Dante, the Peniter designer in DC. Yeah. Anyone next going weekend. to? If anyone's going to the DC Pen Show, which is next weekend, which uh, Brendan and I will be traveling to, uh, we'll be there. I think at the show on Friday. But Dante, who Brendan just touched on, is the designer for Peniter. You'll uh, want to meet him. He's yeah, a genius, and he will be there at dc uh, he'll be super at the friendly table. guy super friendly guy um so what we're looking at oh this one's a rollerball is the new uh, arco pieces we got the lemongrass and the golden stone uh, available in fountain rollerball and ballpoint um, basically it's like a, a celluloid acetate um, to replicate like arco material um, the fountain pens do feature an internal piston mechanism and then the 14 karat gold quill nib which is like a, a semi-flex nib it's super springy um, for a gold nib which allows you to get substantially more line variation throughout some of the previous editions of this collection um, Dante used resin uh, appointments and grip sections but on some of the pieces he used metal which I actually like the metal a lot more it kind of adds a little bit more of a heftier weight so I'm happier that he went back to that on these two editions then you have the quill spring-loaded clip and just overall, yeah, one of what, my favorites. Is there, a design, is there a design on the band on these? Not on these ones, no. On the avatars, they have the, the Florence, Italy skyline on it. Um, these are really rare pens, limited to 188 on the fountain pens. Let me can see you what the show the magnet limited. again in action, how that works? Yep. So actually, 188 limited to both colors. So when you have a magnetic pen, um, Dante actually made sure that we were all well aware of this. Don't pull straight off like that. You, all you need to do is just kind of twist and it'll pop out automatically, right? It's uh, the magnetic fields, positive to positive, lining up with negative to negative, uh, actually pushing the uh, two fields away from each other. And that's that. Yeah, Super so the fun. way that these work, not all magnetic pens work this way, but when we do that twist, it locks itself in place. Yeah, yeah. These are very durable and very strong uh, magnetic cap closures. And then it does actually have a magnet on the back, so it will post on the back as well. I mean, this is a sharp pen. I actually own two of these Arcos. I got the Desert Beetle and the original one, which was the Arco Oak. So, super fun. 
All right, that's all I've got today for this presentation. Anyone want to see anything? Last questions, comments, concerns? We're here at your service. This was a relatively yeah. You want to walk around video. while sure. we're waiting, see if anyone wants to see anything, and maybe we can showcase. Yeah, uh, you know me... what we haven't done since we read it, Sailor. We should probably go down the notebook aisle because we did have four feet. Okay. To the notebook aisle, it does look a little. Yeah, bit let different. me just um, put these pens off to the side so we're not leaving these out. Actually, we just have. Hey, Alex, can you have somebody grab these these pens and yeah. uh, just put them behind just the counter? Them, yeah, we're gonna walk around. I like that. I like that. All right, awesome. And Thanks, Jen's Alex. got a question, so ask away. All right, and then here is the extra four feet we added to our notebook aisle. We haven't added any new notebooks in the last couple of weeks, just spread some things out. I haven't even been over here yet. Looks really nice. So we've got endless recorders up here. We've got our newest edition, which is Penco. Number of different notebooks. Looks like a lot of spirals. Should be fountain pen friendly. Kelsey wanting to see that Ferris wheel press display. Here you are. I think we're one of the only uh, retailers in the country that have this, uh, or at least one of the first. Uh, really cool display that uh, obviously Ferris wheel press put a ton of time in. Everything they do is just unbelievable. And the other, this is from Jen. The other day you searched pri uh, Private Reserve Deep Red Shimmer Ink. I'm not seeing it online. Do you remember that? A Private Reserve Deep Red Shimmer Ink. Maybe pearlescent red? Uh, it doesn't ring a bell, but I'll check right now out here. Okay. And Tanya, will you be getting the Black Ebonite uh, Narwhals back in stock? If they're still available, uh, most likely. That's the only one I think we've got is the Pearl S and Red. So maybe that's it. Should yeah, be on our website though. We've got quite a, uh, yeah. I see we can take a look at the swatch book, but it's pretty crowded over there right now. So I don't know if- Yeah, it's still popping right now, guys. So it's popping. Uh, Rosalie, no, that display does not spin. Uh, if it did, we would end up with quite a few broken bottles. Uh, a Ferris wheel press. You got a restock of this this week. We just, oh, yes, we did. On the Life notebooks, we should be fully stocked. Beginning of the display here, we have most of our Japanese products. So Midori, Travelers, Life. Hey, Brendan. Uh, just a 300. You've got uh, Tiny saying, I think you did an ink fill video the other day with Private Reserve. So I did. I think it was a neon one. Neon? Yeah. yeah. Um, check this out. We got another brand that we are relaunching into our shop. We're getting all the products prepared and ready to go. This is one of the oldest American pen companies. Um, actually, one of the oldest pen companies in the world, Schaefer, which we are thrilled to have back in our shop. It's uh, basically a, a traditional or more conservative um, designed pens. Um, we basically brought back the 300, the 100, and the Sentinel, um, which are all fantastic options and really well-priced. Um, so most of their collection features uh, metal-based or lacquer-based designs, um, but we'll do a whole video, a whole like launch, and, and you know make sure we, we do the brand justice. Yeah, uh, so Tanya's saying we need photos. You're right. So Schaefer came in on the same day as Sailor. Yes. And so we had already planned on the Sailor launch, so we spent all of our time getting that photographed. Uh, Schaefer, we should hopefully have at least stock photos up by the uh, beginning of next week. And Kelsey on that private reserve, it was the private reserve pearlescent red silver. Okay, that was the one I just showed. Yep. And hopefully we do have a swatch on the site of that. Uh, got Maria, when do the 2024 planners become available? Thank you, Tanya. Um, there are a few available now. Uh, we had a in our video the other day i showed the cover we have our hobonichi order placed that's gonna be our biggest brand of planners uh, but that'll be here in the next couple about a month from now month and a half from now this is the uh, 100 model yeah and maria if there's a certain brand you're looking for let us know i can give you an idea of when that's going to be shipping and jen if you see me at the sale with a giant tote bag 
They have Airsfield Press Display maybe on its way to, to Michigan. I'll sell it to you for the price of your soul. <laughs> That's dark. Vampire Pigeon Dark, I think. And I know that uh, we saw Daniel in her, here earlier. Uh, he's been asking about Vampire Pigeon. But uh, that was our new exclusive ink that we launched this week on yep. Monday. Might have, you showcased it in that uh, video the other day. But uh, we've had so much going on this week. I don't know if we've really talked about it much since then. Yeah, but... I'll, do, I'll do a live, uh, not a live, but a swatch video. And I'll post it on TikTok and IG. You know, an actual Perfect. like swatching video. Very good. Maybe throw in a cacao or two. We'll see. Yes. Take care, guys. Yeah. So, All right, are we good? Are we ready? Yeah, is there anything else you want to see? Or are we good to go? Anyone have any other uh, questions for us before we sign off for the day? I think we're ready for to the rock. weekend. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be back live on Monday. Won't be long. No, I think I think we're good. Oh, Kelsey said, hey, thanks for putting the playlist together. Oh, yeah. Like, the you skits. finally put the skit playlist together? I, I, I oh, didn't get followed, all of them, but I got a lot of them. You followed through. So go go through that playlist. Super funny stuff. And I, I went all the way down to the beginning of her profile and added some of the OGs. Some nice were work. pretty cringe, but super funny. You could. All right, you guys. You know the drill. Take care. Stay smooth. Peace.